Hope you're having a good day today. So I was sent a video over the weekend from a lot of people. Uh, and even here Monday morning, I was getting more um, posts of this video uh, coming in. And, and it showed what appeared to be, you know, what we were told, vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals in Italy standing in solidarity, burning uh, what was called the Green Pass. So let's have a look at the video real quick. So obviously initially seeing a video like this, you know, it's a beautiful moment if it is in fact real. Meaning, you know, to see people coming together on perhaps different sides of the spectrum saying, you know what, I, I support your, your right to choose and I'm gonna come out here and we're gonna show solidarity in that regard. You know, that's an incredible thing and it's something that I really think we need more of. Now the challenge here is, is, is when I was looking at the Green Pass I, I, that, that they were showing in the video, I thought to myself, this doesn't quite look like what I've been seeing in terms of, of a COVID pass. And so, you know, initially I did some research looking into, um, you know, what this, whether in Italy they might have a, a different looking pass. And you'll see from some of these screenshots, um, the, the EU pass, which is something that's happening in the EU, it's a, the COVID pass vaccine certificate, um, is kind of the same thing no matter where you go. There's a paper, paper version, which is kind of a folded up piece of paper and it almost looks like a little passport. Um, and then there's the digital version, which is something you carry on your phone both have a QR code that are scanned and as you can see the paper's white and the, the some of the language and, and uh, flags are different based on which country that you're from but it seems to be the same past used throughout and so as I was looking into this I, I also found a number of people uh, in Italy um, and I'll show you one screenshot here this was one of a few that I found uh, in different social media posts that uh, you know these are people from Italy saying hey you know what this is not actually um, the particular pass so to be clear, what we're probably seeing in this video is some form of, of like action where you know they're trying to symbolize, here's what we're doing. We're burning the green pass. We don't support it. Um, from the same uh, group of people that have been doing this protest, this 3V uh, Verita group, um, they've been doing a lot of different protests around this, um, around the vaccine and not having it mandated uh, in Italy. So this has been going on for quite a while. And in a lot of their videos around social media, you see them symbolizing their, their you know, lack of support for whatever measure it might be, whether they're burning masks or whether they're burning, uh, you know, pieces of paper or whatever it might be. You know, this is common throughout. But one of the key things here is that even though this isn't necessarily what people thought it was, which was that the vaccinated people were coming in solidarity and burning their passes, um, we don't know whether those people in the video are vaccinated or unvaccinated. Uh, we can only guess. But the reality of the situation here for me and, and what I think is touching is the fact that we're seeing people desire this deep sense of community and solidarity. We're, we're seeing people desire say, hey, you know what? I want you to respect my decision. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what this is about. I mean, we're dealing with risk mitigation here, right? When people decide to get vaccinated or not get vaccinated, what they're looking at is what is the risk of COVID? What is my current, uh, you know, health standing? You know, should I get the vaccine? Should I not get the vaccine? I, I don't entirely know what's going on. People need to be able to understand that not everybody's going to have the same level of trust towards a vaccine. Um, and if they don't feel that they're at risk for COVID, then they're not going to get vaccinated. We feel and we keep hearing over and over again that there's a lot of perspectives around the unvaccinated are creating the variants. There's nothing clear as far as what I can see that says the unvaccinated are creating everything or the vaccinated are creating everything. In any course of time, we see whenever there's viruses that are similar to this that can mutate, it doesn't matter whether they're vaccinated or unvaccinated, you can see mutations sometimes happen in either group. Um, so it's unfair to say blank, you know, straight up, um, you know, it's the unvaccinated that are causing all the variants. That's just simply not scientifically accurate. So the fact that people do need to have a choice here is important. And I think it's it's key that there's a there's a deep sense of feeling, and I think this is something we we need to empathize, empathize with more, because I am seeing a lot of people who are choosing not to get vaccinated empathize pretty deeply with the people that choose to. Like, yes, there are those who are thinking, well, you're an idiot for being part of a, a, an experiment, and la da da da. -da. Personally, that's not something I would do, but you know, I respect people's choice to go ahead and get vaccinated. If that's what they feel they need to do and that matches their own risk mitigation um, logic in their mind, beautiful, go get the vaccine. And likewise, the same idea should be passed to the other side. What I wanna say here, and this is where I wanna cap it off, is part of the reason why there's such a, an aggressive force on, on, on the 
let's say perhaps you see it more so in the pro-vaccinated side where they're they're really wanting everybody to get vaccinated they're calling them stupid they're calling them you know unscientific they're they're ruining life for the rest of us um I think what's going on there is is really a matter of, you know, obviously media has been telling one side of the story for a very long time. At the same time, there can be a lot of aggression from the you know, anti-vax side of things, you know, for lack of a better word. But at the end of the day, what the big challenge here for me is, is a greater problem that's been emerging in society that we've been drawing light on for, for quite a while, which is that we're becoming increasingly divided because we're not listening to each other. And as we deal with more instability, as we deal with more uncertainty in our lives, that creates a, a, a situation within ourselves all the way down to the nervous system level where we start to feel in survival mode. We start to feel like, you know, we need to do something to maintain some level of order. And when we get into that survival mode, our ability to empathize with one another, to connect, to listen, to hear, to assess information, and to really understand why people are making certain decisions starts to diminish. This is a legitimate thing that happens within our executive functioning. And so whether it doesn't matter what side we're on, the point is, is we have to make an extra effort to sort of keep ourselves calm, bring ourselves down and be able to connect with each other. Because if we can't talk to each other about these issues in a meaningful way, we're not gonna be able to move forward properly. So we have another channel uh, that we run called Collective Evolution that has a lot of tips and a lot of uh, different um, techniques and, and ways that we can apply practical tools into helping ourselves kind of right down at the physiological body level, find more calm, find more peace, find, uh, a, a, you know, a, a greater capacity within ourselves to not only go about the, the stress that's happening around us, but make an effort to connect with other people because that's a really important part of this entire journey is being able to communicate effectively. So head on over to Collective Evolution here on YouTube if you wanna check some of the stuff we have out over there. Of course, subscribe there if you want more of that type of content. And of course, subscribe here if you, more, if you want more of this type of content. So make an effort to send this video to some people out there because this video is obviously going very viral and uh, I think it's important for people to understand you know, not just the fact that that story is not exactly what people are putting out there, but at the same time, they need to understand the deeper message that's been shared in here. I, I think that's important, which is why I'm saying that. So that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching.